Retinal ganglion cells are the neurons that link the eye to the brain. So the eye's job is to take light in the form of light energy or photons, convert it into electrical signals and chemical signals that the rest of the nervous system and brain can understand. And the retinal ganglion cell's job is to take those electrical signals and send them into the brain. And the way they do that is by little wires that we call axons that actually exit the back of the eye, an area we call the optic nerve head, and they comprise the optic nerve and they literally like wires that plug the retina, the light sensing neural tissue at the back of the eye, to the brain. And then the brain makes sense of those neural signals so that it can understand or you can understand and what an edge is or what a person's face is and who that person is. It's a, they're really remarkable cells in that sense that all of our vision is dependent on the electrical activity of retinal ganglion cells. Retinal ganglion cells are the cells that are affected in glaucoma. So those are the cells that become sick and eventually die in glaucoma. And the retinal ganglion cells are important because they uh, take a vision and information and relay it to the brain. Um, and so when those cells die, uh, the, the patients uh, uh, can't see anymore. So it's important for us to uh, discover at the very earliest stage of the disease, when a ganglion cell is sick, uh, before it dies and at a point where it can still be treated um, to help save vision. And so imaging the ganglion cells is very important it's also very important to image uh, the, the uh, dendrites of the ganglion cells, so the connections that the ganglion cells make um, with the other cells in the retina. And some of the work of the CFC, the Catalyst for a Cure team, and others has shown that those connections, um, or synapses as, as they're called, are actually some of the earliest changes uh, in glaucoma and may even change uh, before we can see the changes in the ganglion cells themselves. By definition, glaucoma is a disease that affects the ganglion cells. And being able to monitor individual ganglion cells will be the ultimate goal in, as a biomarker. So for example, if you were testing a drug or even monitoring the progression of a, the disease so that you could very finely tune the treatment to each individual patient and so frequently and so quickly that you could prevent the loss of individual ganglion cells, you would ultimately be preserving vision. One of the new technologies that I'm really excited about uses advanced imaging techniques using adaptive optics and visible light OCT to image the metabolic health of the retina and particularly of the retinal ganglion cells and their axon fibers as they course through the retina and enter the optic nerve. The idea that we can ask questions about the metabolic health and function of the retinal ganglion cells, not just whether they've been lost over the last few years, but how happy are they today and are they responding to therapy, um, that's going to be enormously powerful.